bit. That's not very good to do. Um, I'm not going to do. Big press. John's got add. Oh, oh, press. John's got wants to be your thing. John's got that thing. How do you hear that? Now? Request sent. Right. Mommy? Hello. Hello. Can they see you? Mom? Oh, you're yeah, to put it back a bit. I'll take it. Are you gorgeous? That Are you all right? Um, pad out the bottom. Out. I can only see your chest at the moment. I know that's the best bit. Is that better? I'll have to lift things up. That's it. Okay, that's yeah, okay. it's a bit blurred. Oh no, I'm not blurred. Yeah, am I clear to you? Clearish. A, a little bit blurred. A little bit blurred. Perhaps that's a two-way thing. Yeah, you're blurred on mine. You see. Oh no, I'm fresh as a. Oh no, hang on, it's cut. I don't know. It's kind of phasing in and out of blurred and not blurred. Okay. Um, uh, do, you want, do, you, do you change the internet? Uh, no, no. Is that? Is oh, there you go. Now right, no, you're, you're focusing now. There you are. You're focused oh. now. Oh yes, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, so now there's only you and me online now. Now I know we're not supposed to do it till eleven o'clock. There's but lots of people, people watching. It says. It what? It says lots of people are watching. Oh, oh no! What? What? Isn't it funny? At the top of the page, it says nobody's watching, but down here, the people are. Co I miss. I miss the oh. comments there. Um, oh yeah, because there's Princess. Mandy is very pixelated. I think Man uh, Princess. I think she'll be unpixelated in a minute. She was pixelated when she we first joined, and then she went clear. So you should be fine. Oh, I don't I'm want to be pixelated. About my I've got these in to stop any reverberations, but it's not very loud. I can't hear. You know what I mean? Just speak to me. Hello, darling. How's your nylon shirt? Uh, it's very, very sweaty. And I've got my badge on as well, look. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've, I've got my Christmas badge on. Delay, just so you know, when you speak, there's quite a delay before I then hear it or oh, see I, it. I, I, I hear it straight away. Here we go. Morning, Kim. Morning, Nancy. Morning, Heather. You see, it still only says there's two people watching on my screen. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, uh, oh, I don't, I don't do this. To I don't do this, John. You have to. Um, I'm a virgin. Oh, it'll be absolutely fine. I'm just going to go and have a look on my phone, see if it looks any different on my phone, because we've still got two minutes before we officially start, yes, yes, yes. so we're all right. Um, <clears throat> right, hang on, Facebook. Uh, Find my a bit better. Mandy Shaw is live now with the guest John Scott. I've got these in oh. to stop any reverberation. Oh, yeah, I've got 19 people. Hello, lovely people. Maybe I'll do the messages on this one. Like, just, just speak to me again now, Mandy. Um, good morning, John. How are you? Oh, it's it that's brilliant because it's actually all in time now. It's kind of aligned itself. Oh, oh. Brilliant. Okay, we've got 22 people now. Oh, there you go. Princess says it's lovely to see you, Mandy. Can you see the messages at the bottom, Mandy? I, I can, but only just. Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll do them. I didn't want to read them out if you're thinking, yeah, oh, wait, yeah. I can see them. And at the end, right, yeah. you, when we finish everything, at yeah. the bottom right hand of your screen, there should be a share button. You need to press the share right at the end. Don't do it now. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. at the very end, when I've gone, yeah. Yeah. there'll be a button on the bottom right hand side and it says share that way it will get shared to your facebook page so people can watch it later all right okay stunning perfect perfect all right perfect now it's really weird because when, when a, a comment just came in then but it's gone now and i, can't, I don't know how you can oh here you go um i bought mandy's kids a couple of years ago i still haven't attempted it what this one this oh, one no 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 well, i'll help you i'll help you I know, but um, Karen in uh, Wigan, yes. she bought another one from you this week, but it's not the Christmas one. I think it's, uh, have you got a tea time one? Oh, oh, oh that's, a, that's the um, Lampshade Club. That's the Lampshade uh, Club. Actually, and it's so in she, the back. It's, it's here. Oh, it's here. 
Oh, okay. She put that on Facebook yesterday. Oh, did she? So know? what, what, um, where are you now then? I'm in my kitchen. Well, well, the kitchen's there. The garden's there. And this is where I do my home sewing. Okay, so when I had my cup of tea in your house, you pair of nutters, says Angela. <laughs> we'll start it. Oh, is it time to start? We'll start in a minute, Angela. Yeah, yeah. Um, where did I sit to have my cup of tea and there. piece of cake then? Just there. Just there. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So the kitchen's down that, down that yeah. way. Yeah. And is the extension finished yet? Oh, no, it's beautiful. The windows are done, the door's done, and they're about to knock the wall through. <gasps> oh, the best, the best. Anyway, let's start, let's start, let's start, because I don't quite know what's happening, because it's gone 11 o'clock, hasn't it? It's definitely gone 11 o'clock. I can't see. Oh, yeah, it's 11.01. Yeah. Okay, oh, here we go. I'm just finishing the little Christmas tree. The messages don't stay. When you do a half and half like this. Oh, there they are. Uh, pair of nuts. I'm just finishing the little Christmas wreath to go to Australia, says Janet. Love to see you both together. Lots of love from Mary. Oh, that's nice. So, come on. So, so hello, Mandy Shaw. How are hi, you? Hi, hi, hi. I'm well, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a bit weird. I've never done this before. I've never done a split screen before. Well, I've, not, I've never done a Facebook Live. This is... This is... <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, you're allowed to swear, but it's best yeah. that you don't. Yes, okay, yes, yeah. <laughs> um, so how have you been... I haven't seen you since I came to your house. When was that? That was... That was in the winter, when I came to Bex yeah. to film those films. Yes, yeah, no, that was... The, no, we're fine. We've been... We've enjoyed our lockdown. We've... I know it's very sad for some people, but we've done lots of house, lots of the garden, lots of sewing, got lots of preparation. And my girls that work for me have worked from home, so we've done lots of uh, delivering and stuff. So, but no, it's I've enjoyed the sort of time with my family, where well, my husband, you know, so yeah, and my home. And you had a sick, and you had a significant birthday, didn't you, during lockdown? Oh, I did, I did, I did. I had a sixth birthday, but that fortieth. Was... Four, oh, 40. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, halfway. Well, no, I had the same birthday, didn't I? So oh, 40. 50. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, we're the same age. And what did you do for your birthday then? Um, we, <laughs> we, I spent the night in a trailer, <laughs> an old stock trailer they converted. And so we, we've got a little, nice. um, we've got a little, we've got a couple of ponies. So we've got a little a stable yard. And so we had a barbecue, outdoor barbecue with some of the family, not everyone, just the ones we we live with. And, the bubble, um, yeah. Yeah, and then um, and we had a lovely barbecue, and it was just delicious, delicious, absolutely delicious. And you were part of my video, weren't you, John? My birthday video. I was. I was so shocked when they sent me a thing, and then I thought, well, I'll just have to do this, and then she sent me a whole choreographed dance to learn. I know she did. She said they think it's hilarious. We've, I've got it. Don't forget, so I can use it as blackmail. I've got the original. <laughs> right. Have you got somebody living next door to you called Stephanie? Yeah, I have. She's there. Yeah, she's part of the wall. Yeah, she's watching. Hi, she's, there. she's watching. She's watching. Oh. So's Claire who makes things. She's watching. Margaret's oh, yeah, with us yeah. now. Paula's here. Morning to both. Have a lovely see Jemima says good morning. Love to see you both. Morning, John and Mandy from South Yorkshire. Oh, my um, so, Right. You do not look any... Oh, hang on. You don't look anywhere near 60, Mandy. You're gorgeous. I hope I look like you when I'm 60. Oh, uh, excuse me, not, princess. Like excuse me. Is that a boy? Is that a boy or a girl? I can't see. <coughs> no, it's a lady. Princess. princess. Oh, that's nice. Uh, You'll have met Princess you. at Festival uh, of Quilts, but Princess goes to Festival of Quilts. She's crazy. Oh, or oh, I've lost all my... Oh, no. I've lost. Okay, I don't know how I've done this, but I've lost all my messages on the screen now, so I'll have to take them off my phone, I think. Oh, this is... We, we do apologise if anything goes horribly wrong today, but... Oh, um, it's landing. It's how do you, you get your messages back? Well, I can see... I, I, they're all coming in, and I can see them. I don't know either. Here we go. Well, I'll have to read them off my phone. So, uh, right... So Mark says, good morning. What a gorgeous morning seeing you both. Francis says, good to see you both. Lisa Lamb is watching. Yeah, hi, Lisa. It's working a treat. Well done. You do great. <laughs> um, right. Uh, Sarah Winspear says, morning from Spalding in Lincolnshire. Crazy Lorraine's watching. Oh, yeah. She texted me earlier on. <laughs> oh, did she? Crazy Lorraine's in. Uh, Yes, she met you, Mandy. She was in awe and she got a lovely pic of you at Festival Quilts. That's Princess. Yes. Hello, Mandy. How great is this? They're all talking to you, not me. Look, oh. morning to you both from Harlington. Uh, anyway, so uh, have you launched Christmas then on your website? Yeah, we, had a, we launched it last week. Don't, launched it last week and it went, it's gone crazy. Absolutely crazy. So we in lockdown, we prepared with tons of kits. But we've virtually sold out again. So we are restocking. The girls are busy at home restocking. So 
things with that. Okay, just in case, just in case anybody doesn't know, yeah. what's your shop called and how do they go there? Uh, my shop's called Dandelion Designs, and I'll, we can go to it's a website. It's www.dandeliondesigns.co.uk. Okay, and so the, have you got a special Christmas section? Yeah, we've got a Christmas shop. It's a Christmas shop. So you just, and it's on the front page as well. So just click on and all our Christmas products, um, all our kits, patterns and haberdashery in that shop. But new things are being added all the time. So watch this space. Um, Attractor is watching. Uh, Hannah Bradley Cohen is watching. Ooh. Chris Giles says, good morning both from Chris in Hailsham. I'm a sewing and craft nut. That's, That's just down favorite. the road, isn't it, to you? <laughs> I keep that and Lorraine says, well. so <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucy's watching now and Lorraine says John well done what for ma making it work yeah uh, good morning well Mandy you look so well says Hannah Bradley Co she's just down the road to you as well haircut yesterday that's what it is <laughs> Chris have you dyed your hair yeah look, look. a little bit ready tinge yesterday did you do it yourself well I, I did do it myself in lockdown I made a mess of the bathroom oh look like there's a massacre in there christine says hello john john and mandy lovely to see you both a track says oh i found you at last lovely to see you both maybe it's difficult because we've both had to do it from our personal pages yes, and i normally yes. do my facebook live from my business one so yeah. i think that's why it's causing a little bit of confusion yeah oh. so we're, we're taking uh, it so actually. i hope so yeah. you're, <laughs> you're pressing share hopefully at the end uh <laughs> Oh, now Lucy's just put us on her TV. I wonder what we look like on oh the TV. Oh, my God, with her um, <laughs> So uh, have you designed lots of lovely new things for your Christmas shop? I, ha I haven't designed lots of new things for Christmas shop because I've been doing some secret projects. Um, okay. and, and they are Christmas related, so you can't you, you you can't see them yet because they're coming later on in things. But the Christmas right. what we've done with the Christmas shop is lots of stuff that was very popular that sold out. We remade the kits, which is quite a tricky thing in the lockdown because couldn't get fabrics and haberdashery and things. So um, it's it, and we we found some old stuff and revamped it, and so it's it's full of it's full of our very best sellers, but lots of. And we yeah. uh, changed some of the fabrics of some of the more expensive kits, like the big Christmas mega garland is a little bit cheaper now. Um, so we've, we've had a good uh, sort of overhaul of the Christmas area. Uh, Becky Alexander Frost is watching, you know, Baffa, Baffa Bag, she's watching. Yeah. Um, Becky, can you put out a thing to say where we are? Because people have messaged me saying, I can't find you, I can't find you. Are you able to put out a thing to say, on my John Scott So World page, how they find me. Is that possible? Sarah's so, I'm so excited. Um, so let's talk about this kit then, this gorgeous yes, yes. kit here, because yes. it's, uh, you don't get the glass, obviously. No, no, no. It's one of your beautiful lampshades. Let me just spin it yes, around. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a wine glass and then, lampshade. But I love this. Oh, I know, this is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> did you know, you didn't notice I had to quickly wash that because I had wine all over it. So did it come a little bit damp? <laughs> Oh no, 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 it came with this though. So, is this what you get? If you how, first of all, how much is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that bit. I don't do that bit. I don't know. But it's I in the Christmas it. shop, is it? It's in the Christmas shop, darling. Yes, sorry. I don't know that sort of thing. Oh, now. Know. I'm, it might be the wrong way round for people. Can you see it on your screen? Is it the right way or the wrong way round? Oh, it's the wrong way, but it's okay. It's still. You, oh yeah, no, no, no. Because normally I, I flick my camera, but I, I it wasn't given the option this morning oh, to right, do that. No, so never mind. So, yeah, so, it, so it's a kit you, get, that, you get the kit to do both of them. Absolutely. So it's the lamp. It's the lamp. It's the wine glass lampshade cover and the little lampshade mat, which is really lovely to put the wine glass on, or even you could put little Christmas decorations on the mat. But it's um, it's a very pretty little design. It's a, a slightly smaller than what you're used to, but um, the design is. But yeah, isn't that pretty look? little holly leaves gorgeous um, yeah. it's really cute so now do i need anything else what oh. else do i need if i'm new to it and i've never done red work before do i need anything else but no, what's in no, here yeah nothing at all except for machine thread or hand sewing thread not the embroidery yeah, oh it's 32 thread. it's 32.99 oh, christmas you, message it's 32.99 <laughs> oh, oh god um, it's oh yeah lisa lamb saying you're both back but you're both back to front oh, oh. jan says she's bought your new book Oh, yes, it arrives yes. this week. That's right. Um, That's John's got a hair wave going on this morning. John Travolta. She thinks it looks yeah. a bit too John Travolta. -y. Yeah. Oh, Becky Alexander is going to tell everyone where we are. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, hang on. 
John, you're back to front. I know we're back to front. Uh, who's saying that? That's another Lorraine. We know we're back to front, but we can't work out how to turn it round when we, we've got a split screen. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, 32 99. Thank you, Princess. It's because the writing, oh, I can't point, the writing on your book's back to front. That's what oh. you see. The book oh, I behind see, you. I see, I see. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's, so, that's... so you just, sorry, I interrupted. So you just yeah. need machine, machine thread, and a sewing thread, machine. And a, and a, a needle, a sewing needle. And everything else is in the kit, everything you need. Okay, perfect. So if you were starting for the first time, yeah. which one would you do first? Um, both of them. They're, they're both as easy as the other. Oh, okay. Um, you perhaps, perhaps you start the lampshade. Perhaps you start the lampshade. It's a little bit smaller and it, it's easier. Okay. I've got, I've got samples of how to do that here. You to be All right. So so in here, is there a pattern? Oh, yes, there is a pattern. Yes, there's a pattern. Oh, no. That, now, these, is that a transfer? That's a transfer. That's that. They're the iron <clears throat> transfers, and they they just look like an uh, ordinary piece of paper. Yeah. And not in the olden days, we, our transfers used to be on tissue paper, didn't they? And but these are the. I don't remember transfers. that far back. No, 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 do I? Don't far too young. Far too young. <laughs> um, but these are the iron transfers, and it's the ink right. that's special. It's the ink that's special. Right. And, and the, how do you cut? There's no pattern piece as such. No, that, so that's, that is the, the, that's the lampshade there. Let me just take this off. And this is the pattern piece as well as the transfer. Yes, yes. yeah. So that's what you're making there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's beautiful about this, John, is that they're, they're lovely. They're just wrapped around a wine glass. Now, what you need to do is go to uh, any large supermarket and you buy a four pack of uh, a classic wine glass, just like that. Right. Cheapest chips, three yeah. pounds. And that, those right. little. Um, and those little lampshades just fit over the top, like that. And you can put a little uh, LED light in it and you get a little flicker. It's very, no, very You lighting. don't put real candles in then? No. Oh. Okay, we're telling people not to put real candles in, but at your own risk, if you watch out, you I could put it. Well, it's they're on the dining safe, table, though. Oh, Go yeah. They're, they're, it's very safe if you did put a little tea light in. It's perfectly safe. Yeah. But I'd, I suggest you use electric ones if there's a... But then if you leave them on all night, it doesn't really matter. But they're lovely no, exactly. on, uh, on, on the Christmas table or on the mantelpiece. I have mine on the mantelpiece. Yes. Actually, I've got so many, I have them all over the place. I'll oh, okay. Them. Now, Chris says the lampshades are fab and easy. Yes. I made one and gave it away. I need one for me now. Yes, you do, Chris. Yes, you do. Yes, you, yes, do. you do. But don't indeed. forget the transfers, they last up to six times. So you, you oh, know, so yes, yes. there's only enough fabric in here to make one. Absolutely. But yeah. if you bought some more white linen... And Absolutely. now, do you sell this white linen? We sell everything website? you ever need to make any of my kits on the website. But I'm a great girl, I, you, you know, an old pillowcase, an old linen pillowcase, or a calico works really well. All fabrics work really well, as long as they're um, natural, not polyester. I, I, um, I just thought that if you make one and you think, oh, I'd like a four of those on the middle of my dining table. Yeah. They could then, if they could go and get an old pillowcase, but they could yeah. make them identically if Absolutely. they come to your shop and, and buy. Yeah. yeah, and it's stock fabric in the sense that we always have those dark dots and we always have that white linen. So it's absolutely, that's what we, that's what the shop specialises in. Anything you need to make Brilliant. our kits are in there, yeah. Oh, now, um, Princess says, I've shared it to your page, John, as a visitor post. I don't know what that means, Princess, but thank you very much indeed. Mel says she loves these. Oh, oh, Becky Alexander Frost says it won't let me share to your John Scott Sewing World as I'm not admin. Oh dear. But then Princess has shared it somehow. So anyway, don't worry. What about watch parties? What's a watch party? Can somebody watch party it? Anyway, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. So if we've, how, where do we start then? Where so do if we you, start? It, if you're going to make this little wine glass lampshade, you're going, yeah. to, you're going to take a fabric, give it a little good press. This will be linen, okay? And you are this? going to get, yep. Yeah, Cut a piece of fabric. It does oh, there's plenty of it, look. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You'll be able to make a couple, actually, of the wine glasses from that, plus a mat. It depends which one you Oh, brilliant. Go. Yeah, so you do get plenty of fabric in there, okay? Not um, like you, but... to be generous. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what you need to do is get yourself a very, very hot iron. Um, and it has to be really, really hot, um, because it won't work if, it doesn't, if it's not hot. And we don't want one of those posh irons you know when people say to me oh i've got a steam press do da do that doesn't work we yeah. just need an ordinary bog standard morphe morphe something iron nothing yeah. fancy okay and they and still go in morphe richards 
yeah, well, I don't know. Perhaps they're not. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. Yeah. And what Dawn's you're watching now as well. You're going to iron your fabric first. I've just ironed it first. And you're yeah. going to pin your template down, face down. Uh, but I want you to yeah. use flat pins. Can you see those, John? Flat pins, flower yeah. pins. Because if you use, use knobbly pins, then you cannot um, iron over them. So let's no. um, pin them nicely and flat. That's gorgeous. And and you want a flat surface. I've got I've got one of those wool pressing mats, but you a, a flat ironing board, not a springy, spongy thing. Um, or a, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying when I did mine, because I made my heart, didn't I? Yeah. I used, because I've got a really squeegee ironing board, I used yeah. my wooden cutting mat from the kitchen with one of my best cotton tea towels over the top of it and used that as my ironing board. Perfect. Um, so I've just ironed this now already, but I did activate the iron before I ironed it. You know, I, I, got, it, I got it moving. Oh, right, 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 right. Built right. Into it. And so I've just ironed it with my two pins beautifully. And when I take it yeah. off, now I always make this look easy because I'm expert at it now. When I take it off, my design's on there beautifully, look. Okay. Yeah. And you only need to do it once for that. That's the whole pattern, isn't it? You don't need yes, to join yeah. anything together. Yeah. Now, now, if you find that some of your design is a little bit lighter because you didn't have an even press, don't worry. Just grab yourself a permanent pen. I use these Micron Pigma pens. And just draw right. over the line. So there's a little area here that's a little bit um, light. So don't, so don't, whatever you do, do not re repress it. No. Okay. Um, so just drawn over. I'll show you what I've done. I've Nick says, drawn. Mandy, you're wonderful. It's great to see you both back together again. And Patricia says, Mandy and John, lovely to see you both. That's nice. Thank uh, you how well. wonderful to see you, Mandy. This is so cool, says Dawn. Oh, oh that's bless, nice. bless. Um, So you're not going to cut it out now. You're going to embroider that. Oh, okay. But before you embroider this, you're just going to put a piece of iron on interfacing on the wrong side. And this which just, you get? Yes, which you get. And this just stabilizes the fabric. And it means yeah. that when you, when you stitch and you jump across from one little area to another, the red thread won't show at the front. On the okay, front. so that's an iron on interfacing. interfacing yeah. When it's you iron that on one onto... side. Now? Yeah, but when you iron that onto your fabric now, it's not going to delete the the thing is it no not at all um, okay. no because i used a permanent when i was filling in i used a permanent little pen and no no i meant i meant the actual transfer where oh, you no, transferred no, it no, won't no. come off will but it? what you have to be aware of is that the iron is not too hot because it could melt it so you just iron it on beautifully i, I will trim this extra off now i'll trim this extra yeah. off yeah okay Okay. And then you're Lisa gonna... Lamb shared it to, to my live page. Mandy, you're looking fabulous, says thank you, Dawn. Girl, thank you. Uh, uh, yes, that's nice. Right, carry on. So what, now what's this? So what I'm going to do now is just going to stitch to the back stitch. But I want to talk about threads. I use cotton abrode and you get two, two, strand, two skeins in your kit. Yeah. But it is only one strand. One strand. We've had the complaints. Just and you don't... That. And you don't split it, do you? No, we don't. No, we don't. Because really Mandy, just so those of you at home, Mandy ruined somebody's honeymoon because she didn't tell her not to split the thread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so you, and it's a stunning thread. It's really, really delicious. Um, it, it's just works so well. And we've got, we're, there's two really great colours. This is 815 and the fly to red's 321. We sell it all on the website. You, this kit has um, 815 in it. 815. I was going to say these are both 815s. Yeah, yeah, slightly darker, but it's 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 just delicious. Um, yeah. Let me just say to you, um, when you if you when you're doing the candle mat on this lampshade, we are going to stitch through onto the interfacing because we want something right. quite fine because it's a, a little candle. But on the candle mat, I stitched it through onto the wadding. So it's oh, a slightly, okay. different, slightly different instruction. So, so there's no wadding. You don't put any wadding into th this one. You don't put no, any wadding no, into no, your no. lampshade. But you do. And I've got wadding on it. Yeah. And I've got no, inter no iron on interface. Right. Uh, before you go any further, I've got a quick question. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a complete circle. It's yes, a complete. Yeah. I thought you were going to have to join up and join up, but you've done no, the complete no, this, circle it, on that one. Yeah, that's that's half my problem with designing. Everything's going to be designed for A4, which is slightly different. But what we do to get the circle, yeah. to get the big circle, look, you get a 12 inch dinner plate. Ta -da! Right. And you draw around it, and then you can put your transfer in the middle of it. So you've got it in the middle. Oh, uh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite cute. But so you're not, so this time, when you do this, you're going to stitch through to the wadding. 
is stitched through to the wadding, not the iron on interfacing. And this is just for the candle mat. It just creates a nice little, um, it, it quilts it as it goes and stops it being, stops it being bulky as well. But it's, it, you can do it either way, but this is, this is very nice. It creates a nice effect. Uh, Nick, yes, you go to Mandy's website, www.dandeliondesigns.co.uk to buy it. Uh, Jemima says this is the best way to spend a Sunday morning. Now we've got an issue. Lisa Lamb says, I've just been told by one of your Sewing World fans they're locked out of the Facebook Live. That's why we put on the advert that if they had trouble getting through now, we'll share it afterwards yes, and they yeah. can watch it yeah, again yeah. later on. It just won't be to watch it live, sadly. That's the only thing. You're welcome. You're welcome, Mick. Right. Lisa Lamb, Bex. Oh, hang on. There's another conversation going on. Hang on. Oh, it's because it's from Mandy's page and they have to be friends with you before they can get on. So this morning So before next I... time we do this, maybe I should start and you join me next oh, time. Oh, yeah, okay. We're I learning, did, we're did, learning I did like do. everybody this morning. I did make lots of friends this morning. I don't normally do Facebook very well because I don't understand it. So, But my daughter's here and she's yeah. giving us a lesson. Oh, right. So what were you going to tell us? So I was just going to say to you, uh, Cotton of Brode, which is delicious, you can't always get it that easily in your local shop. But let me be assured, tell you this, that your local shop can get it for you. I mean, I want you to get it from my website, but 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 you they yeah. can get it. It's DMC. It's where you get your DMC threads. And it's called Cotton of Brode. Okay. Um, and what you're going right. to do is you're just going to, I start off with a little knot but I'm going to just do a little weenie back stitch. And now um, if you are stuck with back stitches or, or any embroidery stitch on our website, we do have a um, embroidery page with all the stitches on. So you can go and have a look at it. Oh, brilliant, yeah. But I start off and um, just to say to you, this line, these embroidery lines wear off. Uh, they fade out. Uh, eventually if you leave it out to the if you left this on the table for a week this would fade away so once you finish working with it just fold it up and put it in your little sewing bag um, but they they, they last forever but as soon as you expose it, it it goes so that you don't have to wash you can't wash it off until it's sewn and exposed to the light so you don't have to right. worry about your lines so if you've got fuzzy lines if you've accidentally moved it and you've got fuzzy lines they will disappear so don't it's not all disastrous uh, because yeah. then you could to use the other side. You just could turn it over if you've got it wrong, and just the other side. So all you get. Susan to... says Cotton Bro Day is fabulous. Oh, it is. And, and we now Dawn and in... Princess were very happy that you've accepted them as their friend, as your oh, friend. Bless. Yes, I am oh, blessed. Um, so we're just sewing a simple back stitch, and the back stitch is going to be the size of half a grain of rice. What kind of rice? We're talking about normal long grain basmati type rice, not okay. paella type rice. Um, but if you want to make it smaller, that's <laughs> fine. And this design is quite small, so you don't do, you do want big stitches. But we don't like yeah. large chunky stitches. That's not attractive. So, so it's a back stitch, simple. So you just go back on itself, just backwards. So it's the whole thing a back stitch. Yeah. Well, the whole thing's a back stitch. You, there's a, the little star stitches here. But actually, they are just little straight lines. But you can do yeah. whatever you like. And if you want to make this colourful, you could use all your get your old embroidery threads out and make a really good colourful version of it. Oh yeah, because when I did the heart one, yeah. I only did backstitch on it. But yeah. there were lots of choices of different stitches, like from your directory that yeah. you could have used if you'd wanted. Well, you to. could use French. There's there's nothing on here. Um, no, this is just all backstitch. But if you like lazy daisy, you want a bit lazy daisy, a little French knot here and there. I'm out, I, I'm I'm all for you guys um, embellishing it and making it very personal to yourself. But these these okay. lampshades are very popular. We just we we got we've got a we've got a generic kit for them all, and um, yeah, and then we just uh, change the fabrics and to bind these every now and then. So it, right. it's just a simple back stitch. Now there is a, there is a tricky thing on here, not a tricky thing, a, a, a technique I want to show you later on. So when you're ready, John, I'm going to show you about the binding. I want to just go over the binding right. with you. But that would take um, a couple of evenings or a, a, perhaps a film. And you'd get that sewn. Yes. Get, get it sewn. Well, also, as a lot of us are still kind of in lockdown and unemployed, yeah. uh, you've got plenty of time to sit and, and stitch yeah, yeah. In, in the garden. Because it's a beautiful day here today. Can sit it's in the garden. Bit, it's it's overcast here. Is that overcast? Overcast. Oh, no, it was, it was overcast here. It's blown over now. It's gorgeous now. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. So, so we've stitched all of yeah. that embroidery. Yeah. Yeah. But and it's still on. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut all away all the stray threads on the back. Um, I noticed I had a stray thread already 
and I could see it from the front, especially if you put a little light in it, you do need to make sure that any stray threads are cut. And then what I'm get, you, you can do is I always spray glue the backing on. I use 505 uh, right. spray glue. Um, it actually gets a little bit, it stiffens it a little bit and it keeps it nice and straight. Otherwise they yes. start moving around. Um, so that's so, just another piece of the linen at, just attached onto the back. Yeah. But you, if you want to save your linen, you could have used a cotton sheeting or if you want to save your linen for something else, another lampshade, you could have used a piece of calico on the back. But yeah. it might change the colour slightly. Calico's creamier, so be careful. Yes. Um, um, so you've got you've, you've cut it out on the line neatly. You've sprayed it. You sprayed it together first. You've cut it out on the line neatly and then you're going to bind it. Now, we give you this wonderful binding and there's some really rubbish bindings out there on the market. This is a great make. Yeah, this is a lovely make and it's firm and of good quality. It's really lovely. Um, uh, but is, how much, how, is there enough in there? For both. It's for, for the lampshade. You know, you said earlier, there's enough in the kit of the linen to make two lampshades and one candle mat. Is there enough of that to Most do two Most probably lampshades? not. Most probably not. Okay. Most probably not. But right. we sell this as also a stock on the website. So it's, it's Okay, really perfect. Great. But what I wanted to show you is that we might the corners on this lampshade. This is the end of the lampshade. We might the corners. And you, 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 I just turn it over and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. It's got a really nice little mitered corner. There. Yeah. And I just want to show you how to do that. It, it's it's basically easy if you just follow the instructions. So so what you're going to do, I've, I've chosen this binding because it's got a lovely quarter of an inch uh, seam in it. It's got a fold in it. So you're going to stitch in the fold when you put the binding to the edge of your work to the edge of your right. back, you're going to stitch in the first fold. When you come to a corner, you're going to stop exactly a quarter of an inch from the edge. Can you see? I right. See. Okay. I am and listening. Then, yeah, good, 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 good. So what you're going to do is you turn, I'll do it from here, you're going to take your binding up north, you're going to turn, turn yeah. over and take your binding up north to Birmingham. Yeah. So you've got a 45 degree angle there. You put your finger on there and you bring it right back down to Eastbourne. Right, Eastbourne. Okay, Eastbourne, Eastbourne, Eastbourne's beautiful. And then you stitch right over that and you just start again. And that's how you do a beautiful, so it looks like that, looks like that. Yeah. And when you turn it all over, it's a spectacular mitered corner. So don't forget, you're going straight up north to Birmingham, up the M1, yeah. back down to Eastbourne, and you get that gorgeous straight corner. So up to, up to East, up to Birmingham, Oops, hang on. Oops, straight up. I'll, I'll turn it around in a minute. Up to Birmingham, if you live in the south. 45 yeah. degree angle, put a little <laughs> finger on there and down. So you might be going up to Carl, up to Edinburgh, Glasgow. And then you stitch right over that in that crease. So this, this quarter of an inch and this seam binding are made in heaven to be together forever. And they're magic. Right. It's always, it's, it, it's um, a Spanish brand, I think but it's just delicious. And then you get that gorgeous quartered edge. Like that. And then you're gonna turn it to the wrong side and you're gonna slip stitch that. That's another sort of a half an hour television program. And you're gonna slip stitch that in place. Right, you have. Then that's, and, then, and then you're just going to do your little buttons on the edge and a little um, a bar tack. And then you've got your lampshade that goes on top of your wine glass. Oh, when have you have you done these yet? What are you showing me? I oh, can't see. Bar tacks. Bar tacks. No. Bar tacks are dead easy. Bar tacks are dead easy. I'll just show you that. I'll do it on a strange piece of fabric so it's it's a bit easier to see. Um, bar tacks go back years. We had to make bar tacks in our um, school in the school. Do you when we did dressmaking? Did you yeah. not do bar tacks um, on the top of the? Uh, no, I did. I did because I did because um, in period costume a lot of the time your. Um, Rulo, you don't do rouleau loops, you do <clears throat> bar tack loops like this. All right, okay. So let me just get this ready, then I'll show you. So what I tend to do is I have, um, make sure you start off with a long length of thread, okay? And yeah. then what I do is three stitches, about a half, uh, three stitches. Can you see that on my white? You can. Three stitches, uh, quite loose, about a centimetre or half an inch apart, okay? Yeah. And then all you do is you blanket stitch them. You blanket that all of those three stitches, and you blanket stitch them. I just I get it cracking so you can see the, the effect, and it's just delicious. 
so um it's just delicious so if you have you just put your you put your needle through the hoop through the hoop wrap the thread round and pull whoops difficult for me to do it back to front but it's a blanket stitch and you just blanket stitch those three loops and then you get a little lovely and that's a bar tack i do it on my white shirt can you see that oh yeah yeah yeah, I, I love doing bar tacks. And they, and they did easy, they did easy. Make sure you don't make them too big. Sometimes those hoops are too big and um, then it's just not very good. So I'll just, can you show the ladies the original of the bar tack on the lamp shaker? Yeah, just, yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, oh yeah, you see that, 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 that one's done in white thread. You haven't got, you'll have red, you're doing red. I'm a bit lazy indoors, so I, I just tend to use the threads I've already got. But you can see, if you look at Mandy's now, look, you can see how quick and easy that is. I've done the white. Can you yeah. See? Delicious. But if you want to put little, um, if you've got a great sewing machine, we'll put little buttonholes. You can do buttonholes, you know, or poppers, or Velcro, um, whatever you like. But it's part of the feature of it. If you look, if you have a little look at this one here, it's part of the charm of the, the wine glass lampshade. Perfect. Charm. Okay. Okay, Joe. So that's that. So then on this one, what do we do differently on this one then? Well, now let me just tell you. Uh, excuse me, ignore me. Oh, is that your phone? <laughs> That'll be your phone. There's so many people, 98 people have left a message on my phone saying, I can't see you, I can't see you, I can't oh, see you. So no, we're obviously no, no. not doing it right this time. <laughs> my assistant, my assistant will turn off. And who's um, on the phone? I don't know. Who is it, Phil? Oh, it's my daughter. It's my daughter. We're going for lunch. We're going for a virtual lunch, which is interesting uh, the pubs aren't open aren't, well our pubs aren't open but they're doing pub lunches so we're going to take it away a pub lunch to take away and we're going to sit in a oh, right. field near the pub and have it in the field <laughs> i love um, the inventiveness of lockdown the things you have to, to remember um okay now mix yeah. left a message i don't quite understand it it says john tell everyone you get a free with every order on the website oh what are you giving you away for free, free? badge Oh, that's what these are. Oh, they'll be back to front, won't they? They're not your, no, not, not that. These are special. This is this is just special for Christmas. No, right? no. It's back to front on the screen. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah, Yours says, I love Christmas. Yeah. Mine says, lots of love. So yeah. it's random, is it? They no, just, no, no, no. This is specifically for the Christmas people. And they just get, I love Christmas. Oh. They're all the other badges. I gave you that. They were a little gift I gave you, John, those ones. I know, I know. I've got it. And my sweets. But I don't think everyone gets sweets, do they? Uh, right, hang on. John, make sure that Mandy clicks share at the end and Mandy will have to download it and share the down. Oh, my, oh my word. God. Oh, my God. Right, OK. So uh, I won't be able to share it at the end. So when we finish and we stop yep. talking, you must press the share button on your screen. I've got a technical assistant in the corner. Good. Good. So, um, so this one... just bought her, she says. That's oh, good. bless her. And I, I have put a lot of big stock on, big stock number on, but we're going to top that up um, as, as if if need be um yeah. so this difference with this one is that you are going to sit onto the uh, wadding and then you're going to right. spray the wadding with your your uh, not your husband's glue of course your fabric spray and i only recommend five yeah. five and you put your backing on it and we've got um oh we've got the dot back you've got the dot back in the kit i think yeah, I've got the dot back. Yeah, that's perfect. But you could, you could again, you could have saved that fabric and used a bit of calico or something. Um, but yes, the, yeah, yeah. The, so there's one big thing that's happening in the world of placemats is that people are putting their bias binding on, and it's getting they're putting it on too tightly. Then you get a little sugar bowl. Oh right, yeah, yes. So, so you got a knack for not putting it on too tightly. Yes. Then. So what you have to do is just to help you out, give your give your binding a little stretch before you start. Give your binding a little right. stretch before you start. And what people tend to do is, um, uh, I excuse me, I put Rick Rack on this one. I thought it was quite. I thought the kit had Rick Rack, and it doesn't. But you no, could it do. Doesn't. You could do. But other, I, I tend to some of the other ones I have got Rick Rack on, so I got a bit carried away this morning yeah. in my preparation. Um, but what you're going to do is. Um, when you again it's really lovely and easy you're going to you're going to stitch in your first crease and um, you're going to fold the end over so it's all nice and sealed fold your end over right. you're going to stitch but you don't want to be pulling this as you stitch so just stitch half an inch move half an inch move half an inch don't lovely heather forsyth i do believe helped repair 
somebody's um, placemat that went into a sugar bowl type shape. So um, right. <coughs> so just be careful that you make sure you put you stretch it first and you put on quite just an inch at a time. So an inch at a time. Right, and, it should, and it goes beautifully. And the other Fantastic. thing, yeah, I did tack it well. I did tack it well. Tick it down. Otherwise, you um, before I sewed the edge, edges on because I, sometimes you get a little a bit lumpy. A bit lumpy. So tack it down and make sure you give it a good press before you then put your binding on. Brilliant, <laughs> lovely. And uh, what's your delivery time then? If they order oh. one today, what's your delivery time? <laughs> um within a week within the week I, I can't tell you how amazing my girls were in um lockdown we we got things out so quickly so we just had a massive um order load because of the christmas shop opening and we got everything out within the week on friday we went yes so oh, um brilliant. yeah so uh, the post the postmans have been amazing but there's a problem it'll be a bit of postiness um and it's my, just some my areas postman's, my place has been fantastic because i've been having I've got 8,000 masks being delivered. All my ladies are making it, yeah. and gentlemen are making 8,000 masks. And I've got all the therapy dolls and had all the scrub bags being delivered. Yeah. And he's been fantastic because they've given him a van because I have so much post at the moment. Oh, and our, our postman are a little bit... Uh, 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 they're a little bit... That's a, that's a true. Attitudinal. They can be. Okay. But yeah. we, I sent them around a great big bag. They're a bit chubby as well, but I couldn't help this. I sent them a great big bag of sweets around. And said, so, you know, we love you. Thank you very much. And they, ooh, 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 ooh. so, oh. so we have, um, we're so proud of them. We, and then we've had a lost, we've had one or two orders that have gone next door or something, but we've lost nothing. And they've done a no. wonderful job. So, so we, well, they've been brilliant. The girls will do all the orders on Monday. We have no orders outstanding. So Monday, so the Wednesday, Thursday, they should be out with you. And you can make them by the weekend. Fantastic. Have a Christmas party <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Now, my last question before you yeah. go is, have you looked at the menu, what you're having for your lunch? Oh, we don't. Well, I've been sorting the lunch menu. We don't, we, they do a very, very, very nice box ploughman's. A very nice oh, box nice. ploughman's. So I haven't had yeah. ploughman's for a very long time. But we've got, we're going to walk to the pub, which is quite a walk. Um, yeah. And we're, but we can't go in the pub or in the, in the garden. But we just pick it up and then we're going to walk back and then sit in a field with a load of cows. <laughs> Oh, that'd be yeah, nice. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, really nice. And when do you think I'll be able to come and visit them? If we don't know, do we? Well, the, what my, the, 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 it's really weird. All this has changed. But what the problem is for some of us, I have a husband who's um, very vulnerable. All right, rub it in. Yeah, yeah. but bless his heart. But so, so it's, everything's, everything's going back to normal, but he's not. You know, he's yeah, not allowed to be back to normal. Um, and uh, so, so we, we're weird here. We've got the girls coming back into work. But we've only got two in the off in the workshop at one time, so um, I think he's and then heard he doesn't yesterday. go into the workshop. No, he doesn't go into the workshop at all. No, no. He, oh. actually, he's had I've got I had tons of jobs done, John. You won't believe the garden; it's amazing. So, um, oh. so as soon as he's he's not so vulnerable, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So, well, no, no, because I thought it'd be quite nice for me to come there and do one of these. Both of us at, sitting at the same well, we can, table we can, we can, with a meter between us. We can send him out for the day. Yes. Yeah. All right. Listen, it's been lovely, and we'll. I'll go and sort. Now, don't forget when I leave oh. you now, you've yeah. got to press the share button. What's that look like? What's that look right? like? Right. Right. What it'll do is when I've gone, it yeah. won't be there now. At the bottom yeah. right hand of the screen, it will yeah. say you have now finished your thing. Yeah. Do you want to share? And there's a yeah. square box saying share. Yeah. Then you might need to get Phil to download it for you so that I can share it on my page. Will he understand how to do that? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, we'll see anyway. All right, I'm gonna go Obviously now. Let's see, what, let's see what happens. So um, I have no idea how to switch this off. So thank you very much indeed. I'll get this kit back to you as soon yeah. as I can by Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, I'll go and brush my hair because it's gone a little bit funny today, hasn't it? Lovely I'll see, see you later. Thank you, thank thank you. Thank you John. bye. Lots of love, take care, bye, bye. bye. I just press me finish. Bye girls.